All right. So for today, we're going to continue with our SEL. So what does SEL stand for? Learning. Social and emotional learning, yes. So we're going to continue building our social and emotional skills. Um, specifically today, we're going to be working more on self-awareness and self-management um, and kind of some, some things like that. And then to determine, uh, we're going to determine your learning styles as well as gain understanding of the different teaching styles. So just as you guys have different ways of learning, teachers have different ways of teaching, right? Um, and then uh, we're going to synthesize or combine your findings from your learning styles with your new knowledge of how teachers teach in order to analyze and modify your learning processes, right? Um, because the reason this is important is because if you know how you learn, then you, and you know how teachers teach, you can kind of find middle ground, right? Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how that looks, okay? So basically today, uh, we kind of already recapped SEL. You're going to complete the What's Your Learning Style survey. It's only 20 questions. It's super quick. There's no right or wrong answers. Um, you're going to read What Is Your Teaching Style, the five effective teaching methods for your classroom. It's not even a page long. And it's broken down into little chunks, and I'll show it to you. And then you're going to complete the My Learning Style, My Teacher's Teaching Styles discussion board, which is again due on Friday. So let's take a look. And again, I've started trying to really break it down so you guys can see what is what. Here's today's lesson, and then this is the discussion board right here, okay? So, how I learn and how teachers teach. Right, I think that's the way you guys look sometimes when I'm talking. Um, so today we're going to continue with our social and emotional learning, which is SEO. You can groan if you want to. I'll give you about five seconds to do that. Um, and that's about five seconds, I guess. So we can move on. So today we're going to be targeting self-awareness, responsible decision-making, self-management, and relationship skills. So how are we going to target this? First, we're going to identify how you learn. Okay, and again, just like I wouldn't ask you to do anything I wouldn't do, I also took the surveys, even though I already knew what my learning styles were. And then um, we're going to figure out how teachers actually teach, okay? So when I let you free to start doing it, you're going to determine your lesson style. All you have to do is click the blue link right here. It's about only 20 questions, so I do want you to consider them and answer them honestly, right? Because, okay, whenever you guys take these tests, and I'm guilty of it too, most people are, and I heard when you guys took those surveys before, answer honestly, not what you wish you were. Does that make sense? Like, oh, I wish I was the person that turned everything on time. No, nope, Ms. Garcia turns in things on time, but she's also a procrastinator, right? So most of the stuff you see that I do, I do at the last minute, okay? And then once it's done, it's gonna pop up survey results. It's going to tell you what kind of learner you are, and I want you to read that carefully. And then you need to go ahead and you're going to hit this button right here. Once, so like here's mine, right? So I'm 35% auditory, 35% visual, and 30% tactile. And underneath it, it actually explains what that means. You're going to take a screenshot, but what you're going to do is hit the printer friendly version. Put your name so that I'll be able to see your name, okay? You're not gonna actually print it, you're just gonna hit, hit it like, so you, it's gonna bring up this, right? Andrea Garcia scores, and this is what it tells me. And instead of hitting this, I'm just gonna screenshot it, okay? And if you have any questions on how to do that, let me know. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna move on and you're gonna read this article right here, okay? And I'll just kind of give you an overview. This is, um, this is something that was actually made for teachers but it's really good information for you guys. So what is your teaching styles? Five effective teaching methods for your classroom. Research has shown that most teachers fall into these five categories, right? And some of us might be a mix of them. So we have the authority or lecture style, which is teacher-centered, frequently lengthy lectures, uh, one-way presentations. You have your demonstrator or coach style that shows knowledge, includes activities and demonstrations. You have your facilitator or activity style, that promotes self-learning, self-actualization, and critical thinking skills. 
you have your delegator or group uh, style, which is best for lab activities, kind of like your science science classes, your physics and science classes. Um, best for lab activities and peer feedback. And then you have your hybrid or blended learning style, which blends the teacher's personality and the interest with students, okay? Some of us might be a mixture. Some of your teachers might be a mixture, right? Because there's days where I'm not gonna lie, I'm a lecture stuff, right? But then there's other days I might be a little bit something different, right? So basically what's gonna help you though is here's, here's the actual article and it's, here's more in depth, right? Here's the pros and the cons. So again, it's only a one page little essay that you have to read. And then um, once you're done reading that, I explained that you do need to go to the discussion board. Now, I want you to read the discussion board instructions carefully because there are multiple parts and each part needs to be answered. And again, it's not due until Friday, but I would like you to work on it in class today. Um, and let me show you what the discussion board looks like. Okay, and as always, anytime I ask you to do something, I try to like, like break it down as much as possible. So now that you know your learning style and you have an understanding of how teachers teach, you're gonna use that information to analyze your current academic environment, right? So this semester, your teachers, um, but you're gonna use some information from last semester too, okay? So I know you might be asking uh, why we're doing this. I could just be like a parent kind of thing or a teacher and just say just because just I said so, but I'm not gonna do that. But we're doing it because I want you to better understand your learning environments, right? You need to be proactive in your learning. There are times I have been with teachers that were not conducive or good for my learning style. And I had to figure out ways to get through those classes, right? Because if this is not good for my learning style, I either one, need to get out of that class, right? When you're in college, you'll be able to switch classes. You guys don't really have that option. So then you need to find ways to modify what you're doing to survive that class, okay? So um, basically you're gonna take the screenshot of your results and you're gonna upload it to your discussion board. And I did include a how-to, if you forgot how to upload something to your discussion board. Once you uploaded it, in the actual post, these are the questions that you're gonna answer. Now, the things that I have in blue, those are examples and uh, sentence stems. You can literally steal word for word, right? So let's say Ruby is just a visual learner. Based on my results, I am a visual learner. Because of these results, I think the best teaching style for me would be, and then you just input the information, right? Pretty simple. You're just gonna answer these four questions. And it's kind of geared not, not so that you, it's kind of geared so that you, you think more in depth about your learning style on how you can survive your classes, okay? Because let's be honest, not every teacher is the same, right? And it also, so here's an example too, like this one. Which class or classes are you doing the best in? Is it because that subject is easy for you or because the teacher's teaching style or a combination of both? So perfect example, I am excellent in English, right? I am. So I could do it in my sleep, not a big deal. You could put the worst teacher on earth in front of me in an English class and I will still make an A, right? I might be miserable the entire time I'm in that class, but I'm still gonna make an A because that is easy for me. And in reality, things like history and stuff like that were also the same way. Not that I'm really good at it, but I, I will make an A only if I'm a good teacher, okay? So I really want you to think on that. If, if you are married, if you're great at math and you have an A in math, I want you to think, is it just because I'm great at math or is it because I also have a really good teacher? All right. So just answer those honestly. I do want you to be respectful. Um, you know, I don't want you to be like, oh, Ms. Garcia's teaching style sucks, it doesn't match me, right? I just don't want you guys to be really uh, honest but respectful. So again, pretty simple. It's a pretty easy day. Um, and make sure you have it in by Friday, by 11.59. Are there any questions? Yes, no, maybe so? Okay.
All right, guys. So if you don't have any questions, that is uh, pretty much today's uh, assignment and lesson. And um, again, if you have any questions or you're having trouble with the screenshot or anything, let me know. Um, and again, it's not due until tomorrow afternoon, but uh, I might give you extra points if you turn it in early, just a hint, hint, okay? If you turn in the survey and the discussion board early, I might give you guys some extra points. So, any questions? Yeah. All right.